account yes. as we lay this foundation. Yes. I anoint it right now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Group yangu kujeni hapa hivi. Hii group ni watu saba wengine si wako ingia wako pata nafasi lakini kuna wenye waliomba nafasi. So watajisemea tu machina. Na useme kama ni treasurer kama ni secretary useme tu wengine wasikia. Asante. Kama ni member useme. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Nancy Barare, mimi ni memba. Hallelujah. Mimi ni Florence Barongo, ni memba. Praise God. Praise God Church. Praise God again. Nashukuru Mungu kwa wakati huu tuko kwa mlima wa Maombi. 
na tuko pamoja na hii kamati na mimi ndio secretary naitwa Miriam naitwa Miriam Moogi nafanya kazi huko Ntimaru hapa kaya hapa Kuryaland thank you Bwana Yesu asifiwe My spirit your father thank you very much kwa neema hii Asante kwa sababu ninachoa kwamba kika siku ya leo ni siku kubwa kwetu na washukuru nyota ambayo mmekuja hapa amchakuja tu kubahatisha lakini mmekuja kuchukua kila ambacho tumeona sisi wengine kama mimi ni petu nafasi moja tangu nichuane na huyu mtu wa Mungu maisha yangu hayacha kuwa the same anymore siku hadi siku ingine nimeona vile Mungu anaendelea kunipanua na kuniinua na kunibadilisha nilikuja kama ninakuja kuji, kujiua kujaribu niende nimalizane na hiyo kesi ya kujiua lakini tangu wakati huo nimesimama saa hii ninataweza simama kwenu niseme kwamba Huyu Mungu wa Pasta Morwabe ni Mungu mkubwa. Haleluya. Kwa machina naitwa jina langu ni Lois Opanga, ni treasurer kwa hili kundi. Nashukuru Mungu sana. Leo ni siku kubwa sana kwangu kwa sababu gani? Tunaweka msingi. Msingi, msingi. So kila mtu ajitolee. Sitaki niongee leo sio siku yangu. Tuchitolee, tuchitolee watoto wa Mungu. Nataka nichukue nafasi hii kumwalika area chief kwa sababu yuko mahali hapa. Anaitwa John Rioba. Eh asante sana pasta Karo. Eh hapana bieno kuponsi Mungu bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Bwana ni mwema. Siku zote. Bwana Leo ni siku yetu na siku na ni siku yenu. Kwa hivyo nasema karibu kwa sababu ya neno la Bwana. Maana huyu ndio tunayemtegemea. Maana tukimtegemea kila kitu ni rahisi. Kwa hivyo leo ni siku ya pekee. Maana hii sehemu ni sehemu ambayo hata nikielezea mpaka inaweza enda mpaka asubuhi. Lakini leo hii naona uokofu umetokezea hapa. Na namshukuru sana mtu wa Mungu ambaye ni baba yetu. Kuna kitu Mungu aliniambia God said this and, and I want to urge you ninataka kuwasihi sana mjifundishe hilo kutoka kwake. Among other things ambazo Mungu anapenda sana kumhusu he is obedient. Leo tumekuja kuweka jiwe la msingi wa la mlima wetu wa kehanja na tunaweka kwa ili shamba na pia kwa maisha yako tunaweka jiwe lingine la msingi uliokuwa kuchimisha na nina watu marafiki zangu ningependa kuwatambua kwa wasalimie na wengine ni marafiki zetu kupitia kwa television yetu ya embassy uh, network Alafu nina wachungaji marafiki zangu pia nitawatambua na tutamalizia kwa kuweka jiwe la msingi. Nianze kwa marafiki ambao wametoka Nyambo Hanse wakiongozwa na madam Ellen Ma Maroha. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mimi ni mmoja wa wale wako proud kwa sababu Yesu aliniponya niko mzima. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Karibuni sana wageni wetu ambao mmetoka kisi. Nashukuru sana kwa sababu mmetupendelea. Kwa hivyo nashukuru Mungu tangia January ninaenda shule nafanya kazi zangu I'm blessed. Yeah. E, mchungaji anapoongea sikiliza chenye anasema. Na ukifata maneno yake utaenda mbali. Bwana asifiwe. E, mimi nimependa sana kuwa rafiki wangu wa karibu kwa sababu ninajua hii safari sio rahisi. Lazima uwe na mtu ambaye anakutia nguvu, anakwambia songa mbele na tuendelee. Wacha ni mwalike pastor rafiki yangu, uh, pastor China ambaye kanisa lake liko pale Nyamagagana. Jamani. Jamani amwezi kusi. Na ye kwa dakika chache tu atusalimie amen yuko hapa 
kwa majina yangu naitwa mtumishi wa Mungu China ninafanya kazi ya Mungu kwa sasa hivi niko pale Nyamagagana na nataka nimshukuru Mungu kwa kuniunganisha pamoja na mtumishi wa Bwana Aposto na tangu tujuane ninaona ni maisha ya kuongeza katika maisha yangu ya kiroho pia na pia katika ile huduma Mungu amenipa ninapanuka Bwana asifiwe siku ambayo tulikuwa na na first lady mke wa rais wetu William Samuel Ruto pale kisi mtumishi wa Bwana akanialika nikapata heshima nikajiunga pamoja na kwa hivyo nataka niseme kwamba nikiwa mmoja viongozi ambao tunahubiri njili mimi nasema karibu ni wakaribishe kwa niaba ya watumishi walio hapa kule karibu sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe Haleluya Mungu wetu ni mwema Amen Kufika siku ya leo kukanyaga hapa ni mapenzi yake Mungu. Tumekuja hapa si kueneza porojo, si siasa, lakini kuja hapa kuweka ambayo ni mapenzi ya Mungu yafanyike ili mizigo ambayo imetulemea iweze kuisha na kuyeyuka katika jina la Yesu. Tukitoka hapa wale ambao ni wagonjwa wamepona. Mheshimiwa ambaye ni shabiki wetu mkuu wa Runinga yetu ya Embassy Network Television na ambaye anabarikiwa sana na mafundisho yangu. Aa, amefika tuwaliniahidi kwamba atafika Mheshimiwa Cheni amefika atatusalimia baadaye anene na moja Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe tena Pasta Morwabe nimekuwa nikikufuata sana kwa TV na kweli you have become a really blessing. So wakati nimeambiwa na festers kwamba such a place was going to be opened here mlima wa Maombi nikasema kuna sehemu tunaenda pale Machakos. Na watu huenda pale wanaomba na mahali hapo pameza kuinua watu parefu. Hivyo basi nikasema nitafika. Kumbuka wakati tunasema mlima wa Maombi hii neno linaitwa jiwe. Unapokuume dilalia, tunamuona Yakobo akibarikiwa. Wakati amefika mahali, akaweka jiwe, akalala na hapo ndipo Mungu alipojitokeza kwa ile ndoto alimuona malaika wakipanda na kushuka. Si tunafahamu hiyo hiyo nini? Kwa hivyo hapa mahali panaenda kuwa mahali miujiza itatendeka, watu watakuja hapa wataomba na Mungu atawainua kwa njia yake mwenyewe asanteni Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hallelujah. Thank you thank you uh, chief uh, vile man of god amesema mimi chair wa southwest branch kwa hivyo hata hapa nilikuwa nasimamia mawakili wa hapa do leo ndio mara ya kwanza Mungu amenileta nikasika nikaeka mguu yangu hapa na nashukuru sana uh, I'm so happy and privileged and humbled to be here today ya kwamba leo msingi inaekwa ya mlima ya maombi. E, unajua itabidi tu tushukuru Mungu na tuseme kwamba this is an historical moment yenye ameweza sisi tuje hapa. Tumusibu Yesu Kristo. Eh sita sema sitafanya mengi nitafubisha. Hapa tulipo kulikuwa na ugumu mwingi sana. Uisi ulikuwa hapa mbuno. Sasa kanisa Nimekuja hapa nimeona kanisa nimemaliza hiyo yote kabisa. Mungu afanye ma, kwa mapenzi yake afanye bila anavyotaka. Pasa nafikiri utafanikisha utafaniki, safari tunayo kwenda tutafanikisha. Unaambiwa uzungumuze? Mungu anakuambia uzungumuze juu yake. Bwana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mlima huu pasta usiwe na waziwazi umechengeka na utaje umechengeka na utaje la mwisho vile alisema mimi ni miaka 81 moja. nilifanya kazi ya serikali nikastahafu mwaka 1997 97 niko hapa haleluya kwa majina ni pasta Nyamboki ya Ma Isaac. Uh, niliona <laughs> kuona tu 
tukipanuka sana haleluya haleluya god is good and all the time na nimetokea maeneo ya kule ndio Mungu ameniweka pale naitwa pasa Elisha kichana nimeokoka na hiyo radio tokotana unifanye mpango tafadhali haleluya tunashukuru Mungu sana sana kwa maana kwa kutupa hii nafasi ya pekee kwa kufika kwa huu mlima tulikuwa hapa Friday iliyopita nikasikia Mungu akisema kwamba huu mlima ni wa mataifa sasa ukiwa hapa ukiwa hapa connect roho yako na akili yako ya kwamba ukitoka hapa utakuwa yeah, kwa mataifa kwa mamlaka ya madhabahu haya mubarikiwe sana kwa majina yetu pastor joseph bwayo bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya kwa majina naitwa pastor peris biage onunda kristo ni bwana bwana yesu asifiwe bwana asifiwe hakuna ile furaha na raha na kuwa nayo wakati ndiko mbele yu mzee hakuna kitu naweza nifanya nikikuwa mbele ya dadi salimia jirani yako mwambie usichukie utapata kibali bwana yesu asifiwe bwana asifiwe amen asante baba nashukuru sana kuwa hapa mahali siku ya leo na leo mlima mwema unaanzishwa hapa ina maana kwamba destiny zetu siko guaranteed. Waja tusikie sauti ya pasta John Marwa. Amen. Hivyo tumekuja hapa kwa sababu ya ibada ya kuweka msingi wa mlima wa maombi. Na wakati ambao askofu aliponiambia ilibidi tuweke kazi zote chini. Amen. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Na kiongea hivyo tuko na matanga ma nyumbani. Baba yangu mdogo ambaye nikitinda mimba kwa nyumba ya baba yangu amekufa. Lakini tumeacha hiyo. Yes. Tumekuja hapa kwa sababu ya kuweka msingi wa huduma la Mungu. Neno la Mungu. Alafu tuende kutengeneza hayo. Tukiwa tumesimama hivyo tumkaribisha Apostle Uburu ili aweze kutuambia ujumbe wa mbinguni. Eh tangu na vigereke. Tukiwa tumesimama hivyo aomba isome kitabu hiki. Alafu tutaweza kukaa chini. Agai mlango wa kwanza kwanza msali wa kwanza Agai mlango wa kwanza kwanza msali wa kwanza na mimi nitasoma tu mstari mitano sita alafu niseme jambo la tutaomba Tasoma kwa Kiingereza inasema in the second year of of king darius on the first day of the sixth month the word of the lord came through the prophet haggai to zerubbabel son of shetel governor of judah and to joshua son of jehozadak the high priest this is what the lord almighty says these people say the time has not yet come for the lord's house to be built then the word of the lord came through the prophet agai is it time for you yourselves to be living in your paneled houses while this house remains ruined now this is what the lord almighty says give careful thought to your ways you are planted Takuskize vizuri you have planted much but have harvested little you eat but never have enough you drink but never have your fill 
You put on clothes, but are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in a purse with holes in it. So this is what the Lord Almighty says. Give careful thought to your ways. Go up in the mountains and bring down timber and build a house so that I may take pressure in it and be honored, says the Lord. To see my make of this, it's not a Mukadibisha. I see declaration easy. Hey! Hey! Ah! Muna piga baka kifika hapa and yo muna ajia hapo. Aposo karibu sana. Amen. 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 Thank you. Makofi mazuri ya baraka. Asante. Toweza tukaketi jamani. Asante our host pastor Apostle Morabe God bless you man of God Nikiwa nimeketi pale na ibada inaendelea nimekumbuka neno alilosema mtumishi wa Mungu Petero katika Mathayo 17 baada ya Yesu kuwapeleka mlimani wakiwa kule juu mlimani maandiko yanasema mbingu zikafunguka na mbingu zilipofunguka nitarudi hapo. Bible inasema Petero akamwambia Yesu it is good for us to be here. Hebu mwambie jirani yako it is good for us to be here. Mwambie I'm not regretting. Huyo uh, mwingine haelewi Kiingereza. Mwambie jamani ni vema mimi kuwa hapa. Mwambie sijuti. Mwambie sijuti. I have seen something. Mimi neno ambalo limeniguza sana ni mbingu sikafunguka. Na nimesikia Mungu akiniambia kwenye milima ya maombi kama hii mbingu ufunguka. Mimi hao ndio nimesikia nikiwa nimekaa hapo nikisema ah Round E. Ambia neighbor round E. Sitaomba chini ya mbingu iliyofungwa. Nitasukuma dipa dipa mpaka ifunguke. Kwa kuna watu wanalia wanasema tumeomba. Tumeomba pasta hakina hasabi le. Swali unafaa kujiuliza nakubali umeomba lakini mbingu imefunguka. Unaomba chini ya mbingu iliyofunguka tamka kama nabii wa taifa hili kwamba kila aliye kanyaga hapa kwa mamlaka ya jina la Yesu bingu zako sifunguke unapokuja kuomba mahali hapa kuria bingu sifunguke mwendede mawe saba tu mawe saba tu yale nime tumetengeneza pale na mchanga kidogo kwa sababu shughuli imekamilika amen we We, we are just doing for example but nimepiga mara saba kweli eh ni mara tatu mimi naona kama imefika saba eh so tutapanda tu haya tumekoroka kidogo kuna maji maji hapo okay so Wapigana <laughs> Ina 
Nakwaki. I annoy this place. I annoy this place for the nations. For the difference of nations. Amen. Many nations will come. Amen. Many people will come. Amen. And they will meet their salvation on this prayer mountain. Hallelujah. I declare the words of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. Today, I raise you to stand yes. on nations and kingdoms. The more mm. Namta Aribu, mm. Namta Pomoa, but at the same time, Namta Bang, Namta Jenga. Anytime you come to this mountain, Chochotia Bajra Spaki Morewe Kita Ngoka. Yes! Chochotia Bajra Spaki Pomorewe, including Mata Bausa Uongo, Yata Pomoka. Na kwenye mlima hu, Maisha yenu na ya watu wengi ya tajengeka na ya tapano upia. Aleluya. Kwa hiyo, today, anoint, lift up your hands everyone now. The man of God here. Mount, as we lay this foundation, I anoint it right now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. This mountain is ready for the use of nations. Hallelujah. 